Hi guys, Tony Rice, Chief Instructor of Yard Martial Arts here with today's Tony Talks. Uh, obviously some of you have been following this series of my little talks which developed from the maths chats we used to give our uh, students here, and we still do, but they commonly known it as the Tony Talks. So it's been developed in regards to that, and obviously if you want to see previous videos, just go have a look on uh, the channel and you'll see the videos guys. It's various videos in personal development or mindset, that type of thing. Today's talk, okay, is something that is very relevant, especially to five and seven year olds and to all of us, but this is today's videos aimed at some of the parents who have younger children, but also for the teenagers as well and the and young adults. And older ones, it's good if you have a listen to this one as well. Basically, it's like, I mentioned it on the first video, when we were our first videos, when I said uh, keeper of the gate. And I got a few questions to explain what do I mean by keeper of the gate. Well, basically, it's the same that I picked up from one of, one of the first development guys I follow. I follow quite a few, but it was it just resonated with me when it said keeper of the gate. It was just simple. Basically, you are in the keeper of the gate to your mind. What you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you taste, how you process things is only you. As we say to the children, you know, when you get up in the morning, it's you that decides who's in a good mood, who's in a bad mood. It's you who decides if you're tired or in a good mood. And obviously we mentioned this in regards to the children about their action to reaction. And we're not going to talk about the action to reaction. Today we're talking about that first thought process of a new adults, myself included, your very first thought of the day. And guarantee it's researchingly been proven that first thought of the day for most adults is a negative one. There's that period where we're just coming from sleep and we're not actually thinking all of a sudden our first thought is a uh, moment. Okay, and that sometimes sets the majority of people up unfortunately, for, the, for, for a day that's up and down in emotional yo-yo. So we're not going to talk about that today. It's just basically through the day of how to control our mindsets and how we think. And that little voice who takes over sometimes when we're, we're focusing on something and a little voice will come in and a little thought will say, oh, that person did this to me today or that person where they said this or the way that guy cut me up. But basically, going back to what I said at the beginning, it's mainly for the younger children and younger parents is actually understanding their mind process of like they're in control and this is where the keeper of the gate, keeper of the gate comes in. By, for instance, we say to the children, you know, if someone says, oh, you're horrible, you, who makes that decision to take that on board in our own mind, to feel that we're being horrible or that we are horrible? It is a fact that the process is we choose to and this is the keeper of the gate. It's your choice whether to let the gate go open and believe what you're being told I'll keep the gate closed, closed and not particularly take any notice of it. A challenge for you, a little tool for adults, is when you're driving or when you're, you're in process of doing some work and all of a sudden you get the thought, that negative thought. Catch yourself thinking negatively. And it's a good little habit. Now this 30 day rule or this 21 day rule about trying to work something with a habit, lately they've been saying it takes 66 days. That's what I've just come across in, in some of the personal development areas of books I've read. It's, uh, I'm not too sure which university it is, but it is a, a British university. You've studied this and it says it takes 66 days for you to actually own a habit. So obviously if you wanted to use this tool, it's basically when you're driving, and I'm keeping it simple, is if you're driving, and as you're driving, we do everything subconsciously. And we're our mind process about what's happened on the day or whether I've got to go shopping, I've got to pick Litton up, I wonder what mood he's going to be in and this type of thing. This all goes through. And nine times out of ten, we've got a negative thought going through our head or through our mind. Try and catch yourself doing that and then try and correct it by simply saying to yourself, I do not believe that thought. That is just a thought. And then move on and don't hanker on to that thought. Just stop it. So when you're thinking a good thought, you keep hold of that thought. But if it's a negative thought, just say, I do not believe that thought because it's just simply a thought. Because that's what it is. It's just coming to your head. It's meaningless. It's nothing. All it is is that little voice in your head is not getting listened to. So it creates it. Creates that so that, that little voice is getting noticed. Some people call it the ego. Okay. Listening, you know, trying to take control. Some, some people call it edging God out. But basically, it's, it's just that little voice that's there, just niggling away. Also, it's, it's known as the chimp voice, or the, from the, the book, The Chimp Paradox. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name who written it. Uh, it's a very good book. 
uh, basically saying that you've got three chimp minds, okay, the one that you listen to, the one that's trying to get your attention all the time, and the one that wants to cause chaos, okay. It's, it's similar to that. Don't hold my word on it, but obviously it's called The Chimp Paradox. It's a good book. I'll try and remember it, and if I get it, I'll, 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 I'll show you in the next video, guys, if I get a chance. But, yeah, the tool you've got is, is a great tool. I've used it myself, guys. I don't, I've not created it. I've just taken it from other personal development guys, uh, who are like Bernard Bruchard, Tony Robbins, and many others. They use similar tools with slightly different uh, words. A bit similar to martial arts. Where you've got a round kick, but it's called so called a washigeri, a holy jaggy. Okay, different martial arts, different wordings, different areas like Korea, Philippines, English. It's just words, but the process of kicking a round kick is virtually the same, apart from one or two little dimension dimensional change. And it's the same this tool. This tool could be you probably come across this tool yourselves in a different format. But basically, what it is, guys, it's a great little tool. It's to try to catch yourself thinking negatively. And trying to tell yourself that it's just a thought and simply just not listen to it and move on and then try and put a good thought in that place you know like for instance I can't wait to get over on my tea I can't wait to get you know to see the wife can't wait to get to see the kids all that type of stuff so basically guys that's what it is now younger parents if you've got children who are younger like three four five six seven a great little tool to do guys is when they're in a bit of a bad mood and you you know you know what we are like parents you know being a parent of four children when they're dragging their feet and they you know they're not rushing to get the breakfast down and they're not rushing to get ready for school because they're a bit lethargic a little bit tired or the little just don't want to go to school is that negative motion they've got in their head is try and distract them with a good play okay one of the things i used to do with my children is we used to i used to make paper planes and I used to just get a piece of A4 paper, make a plane and throw it. As soon as you throw it, they grab it, they start throwing it back to you. And what you do is I'll lead them and say, right, guy, well, I just want you to go upstairs. Just want... And basically you're making that process of happiness. And they forgot how tired they feel. They throw it down, you throw it up, you know, and you have a bit of fun. But you guide them back upstairs, for instance, if you want to get them to change. Say, right, okay, game one, we need to get changed. If you want to play, we need to throw, you know, if you want to play more games before we go to school, you need to get changed quick and get our teeth clean. And make it exciting. Don't just go, right, you need to get changed. Your own voice develops that. So you've got to get that little bit of excitement there. So they go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gives them something. And what you've done is use that negative, cut that negative thought out, similar to what I've just said earlier in the video, and in a different format, but basically on a physical side of things. So they get it. Then what you do, later on in the day when they get back from school, have a chat with them. Sit them down when you're having your meal with them. And say, can you remember this morning when we threw the plane? You know, before we threw the plane, how did you feel? And they'll, they'll tell you, oh, I felt tired. Right? Did you feel a little bit negative? And they know what negativity means. So you know, because you know, to be honest with you, the young children, the bright sparks. You know, they don't don't think that they don't know. They do know. They use their their inspiration, their emotional feeling sometimes of telling them how they're feeling, and that takes it on. But that's another different video to to talk about. But effectively, what you've got, guys, is. It's just talk about it and it brings that awareness to them. So you're bringing that emotional awareness and that emotional intelligence to them. So as they get, get older, and if you set the seed then when they're five, four, five, six, basically they, they take it on board and they take it, they believe it. And then eventually what actually happens, they start becoming very confident and very happy because they start understanding. It takes time, doesn't have to every child, but they start, but you've got to reinforce it. But well, basically, what actually happens is you bring that happiness and that positive mindset to them over the over over time, and then they start thinking positively, and you set them up for good. And we do that here at Yar Martial Arts, where we do a lot of match chats. Our instructors do positive reinforcement all the time, and the kids love coming back. We've got a great retention rate, and basically, they come back because they love that positive reinforcement. And when a lot of children have stayed with us like for eight, nine, 10 years since they were young to 15, 16, go out to college, go out to university and become great adults. How do I know? Because I've been doing this for 20 years and my first students are now 33, 34, 35 and they're making great lives. They're, they're very positive adults and they still keep in touch with me, which is great to hear. Making me feel old like, I'll be honest with you guys. But at the end of the day, Hopefully we're making a little impact here at Yar Martial Arts and hopefully making an impact with you guys in these Tony Talks. So, hope you enjoyed today. Remember, just to re remember, adults, try and catch yourself with a negative thought. Yeah, and change that into a positive thought. 
yeah, by just simply saying, I don't believe it, it's just a thought. And younger adults who've got uh, children, young children, obviously play the game, you know, get them to, so don't fall into that moment, try and think out the moment and try and get them in a good mood before you get, get them ready. And you'll find it does work, guys. So thanks very much for listening to this Tony's talk. If you want to see some previous ones, guys, just simply just go, go through the, the, the listings and you'll see them, guys. Hope you enjoyed today. Hope you take them tools and I hope they work, they work for you guys. Just work on them. doesn't happen once overnight. You've got to work, it, like I say, up to 66 days. Try your best. Believe me, guys, it does work. So thanks again. Thanks very much for your time, guys. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, if you want to see the previous video, just simply click that one. And if you want to see the playlist of Tony Talks, press that one. And if you want to subscribe so you get all the videos from Tony Talks and all the other various videos we put up on our channel, on Yarn Martial Arts channel, just simply subscribe. Thanks very much for your time, guys. Have a great day. All the best.